Hello, good people of the interwebs. I'm the Tenkai Shri of Gaming and Otaku Pookie Z7. And it's time for another random article that I've been receiving from Ryu. More and more, more and more do I get articles like these that I don't, do not mind to read. And this is from whattoexpect.com because it talks about pregnancy and parenting every step of the way. Sounds like something you would hear from Lifetime. But, um, <clears throat> here we go. New York school cancels annual kindergarten show so kids can focus on being college and career ready. What? Posted yesterday. Well, okay, two days after because it's now the, the 30th. So let's read this craziness, shall we? A school in Long Island, New York has canceled their annual end of year kindergarten show featuring five and six year olds because the little ones can't afford to take time away from their studies. They need to focus on being college and career ready, reports the Washington Post. What? The, the, the kindergarten assembly at Harley Elementary Primary School in Elwood, New York, is a tradition. Where the children, family, and friends come together to celebrate the growth and success of the kindergartens. A huge milestone. The parents received a letter from the interim principal and four kindergartner teachers informing them that the annual tradition was canceled because their schools need to focus on their academics. Here's what the letter enclosed. What? Uh, April 25th, 2014. Dear kindergarten parents and guardians, we hope this letter serves to help you better understand how the demands of the 25th century are changing schools, and more specifically, to clarify misperceptions about the kindergarten show. It is most important to keep in mind that this is that this issue is not unique to Elwood, although the movement towards more rigorous learning standards has been in national news for more than a decade. The changing face of education is beginning to feel unsettling for some people. What and how we teach is changing to meet the demands of a changing world. The reason for eliminating the kindergarten show is simple. We are responsible for preparing children for college and career with valuable lifelong skills. And know that we can best do that by having them become stronger readers, writers, co-workers, and problem solvers. <sighs> Please do not fault us for making professional decisions that we know will never be able to please everyone. I fault you. I'm a teacher. I'm damn sure going to fault your ass. But know that we are making these decisions with the interests of all children. My, no, you're making decisions so that you can raise, so that you can raise drones. Now, parents of the kindergarten students have started an online petition to reinstate the play. And there are two, over 2,000 signatures. Where is that petition? Oh, wait. You know what? I'm going to do this now. I'm going to do this now. I'm going to do this on camera. Therefore, you know, I I, 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 I can't really. You know, I can't. There we go. We're going to sign this thing. Bam. This, this is what we're going to do. We are going to sign this thing. And we are going to just do that. And there you go. Now I guess go back to where I was reading, which is this, and it was what did I close? What did I close? Uh, no, that, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. What did I close? I was reading. What was I reading for? What was I reading for? Oh, you bastards! Uh, give me a second here. I'm actually going to do this. There we go. Ahem. 
Back to what I was reading. There. Now I feel better about myself. Yes, I did it online. Therefore, yeah, I'm behind that. Er <laughs> Early education is a hot topic among many parents, and we know that kiddos are like sponges. They absorb so much information with us without us realizing it. Of course, the few years of their lives are crucial for brain development, but sometimes kids just need to be kids. And taking two days off to express their creativity shouldn't interfere with their college prep, especially if you're five years old and growing. I have a very fond memory of my kindergarten graduation. Going into the first grade was a big deal. We celebrated this milestone by singing, dancing, and performing skits in front of our family and friends. I learned lifelong lessons, I uh, learned lifelong skills, not lessons, that are valuable today. Teamwork, bravery, and the ability to express my ideas. So even if you're taught to singing at the top of her lungs in front of an audience, she's developing important skills that will help her before, during, and after college. Do you think this school is being harsh on the kids? Share below in the comment section. I don't need to share below in the comment section. I can tell you right now. Yes. You want to know why? It's something I learned while I was I was um, volunteer teaching at my old at my old shop. The one thing is. When you have that time with them from 8 to 12, from the hours of 8 a.m. to 12, which is lunchtime, you have four hours to teach them as much as you can. Okay, you get a break between 12 to 1. And as a teacher, you need all that, all that time in the world just to breathe, and then just get something to eat and more than likely chill out for a while. Then you only have an hour, less than two hours, before the day is ended and bam. Here's what I think. Kids should be kids. I'm going to tell you why. Kids should be kids because... You don't want them to grow up too, too fast. I mean, honestly, I'd rather let, I'd rather let the kids be kids, you know? It's like, okay, you got a test. Okay, you study for your tests. That's important. But what's more important is that you take your time growing up. You know, enjoy all that childhood has to offer you. You know, because let me tell you, once you start hitting the tweens, you start to worry. When you hit teenager, then you're going to have a whole lot of problems. You're going to have so much more problems, it'll make your head spin. Tweens, the only reason why I say you're going to have more problems as a tween than you're going to have as a teenager is because you got growing pains. You're wondering why you're growing up so fast and everything else. And I can tell you, this generation just needs to learn to chill. This generation of schooling and parenting just needs to chill. You need to let nature take its course. Because if you do not let nature take its course, then, of course, the new generation of students will blame you because, A, you didn't let them have fun. You didn't let them be kids. You didn't let them enjoy the freedom of being a child. I mean, I personally, I personally just say, you know, let them be a kid. I'm serious. Let them be a kid, so therefore, when they become grown up, they can be they can become more mellowed out. Because yes, you have to deal with high school, and you have to eventually deal with college, or otherwise, whatever the path 
you take is yours to command. So honestly, this is what I think. Yes, I'm part of the 2,000 people who believe that you know they need to they need to focus on more, you know, let kids be kids. You think of Chuck E. Cheese, Ch Chuck E. Cheese, where a kid can be a kid. Yeah, you had to let them be kids. Let kids be kids. That's all I had to say about the subject. Another thing I have to say is <sighs> when I was younger all I did when I was when, when I went to school was just do one simple thing that is study do my tests turn in my homework and pretty much go to recess after, you know, the bell rang. Go out. You get your 30, minute, 30, 45 minutes of fun. Then you come back in. You feel pretty good about it. You feel all worn out. But after that, hey, you can just take a, you can take a breather. Put your head down. Rest for, rest, rest for about 30 minutes. And um, that was pretty much it, you know. I mean... What I feel about today's schooling, here's what I think. In the four, the first four hours, the first four hours of class, you teach them as much as you can within four hours. Then after that, you have lunch. You have your lunch for an hour. Then let them come back in. And after that, it's like, you know what? You guys did real good today. I'm gonna show you guys a movie. That's what you do for the next two hours. You you you, you show a movie. You show a good movie. Don't and and this is the one thing. I, this is one thing I I used to do when it was um, around one o'clock and I brought the class in. I did it like this. I told them when you come in, you are to greet your teacher. You're supposed to say, Konnichiwa. You take a seat. No, actually, I treated it like it was a Japanese class. So I said, what you do is when you come in, you just say, Konnichiwa, and you nod. You don't bow, you nod, and you look at your teacher. And when you do that, you stand by your chair. And then sit down. Pretty much that was it. That's how you kept everything in order. That's how I basically did when I was in when I was working at my old job. I mean, it was nice and I can't say that I had a special class in mind because all the kids that I I've taught were equally special and even to this day that I come back to the old school every so often I see them and they would run up to me they would nearly knock me over or they would give me a big hug and even to this day even high schoolers high schoolers would actually give me a high five because they they know me they know me because I'm the cool teacher I brought in my Wii and my PlayStation 2 every so often to um to um, first grade and yes I did care I did carry my I did carry my um Wii and my um PlayStation in a in a little messenger bag Uh, those were the days in which I didn't mind doing this. I didn't mind going to, to, you know, volunteer. Because, it, you know, to me, it, it was good. 
you know, I didn't mind doing this. I, I didn't mind giving my time and energy just to help, just to help um this class grow to know their potential. Because even for an hour or less than that, if I had an hour or if I had 30 minutes or whatever, I taught them so much within a half hour or so. But my, my teachings were never longer than an hour. They were like 30 minutes and psh, that's it. <sighs> that was the kind of that was the kind of joy I enjoyed because you know thirty minutes I, I you know thirty minutes I can say a lot within thirty minutes. However, when it when it comes down to it, the fact that they were um pretty much um enjoyed by it, they even brought their the joy the real joy was when certain uh, when when the parents came to me and they said oh you're the one teaching um you're the one teaching um Japanese I said yeah I'm, I'm, I'm the guy I'm the guy te teaching Japanese even to this day you know the last time I actually saw one of my former students um, I was at Ralph's by the airport and um, there was this one, and I remember this one parent could not get my name right. He always called me some other name. He always, he always called me Isaiah, Ichabod, whatever, whatever kind of I name there is. I said, as long as you don't call me Isidore, we're straight, dude. We're straight. But I said, you know, I, I can really care less if you can't remember my name. As long as you don't call me as a door, that, that's fine. We're okay with it. <sighs> but it's good to know that, you know, they're, I see these former students that I used to teach. And they grow up so fast. And they wonder what I've been up to. I said, I haven't been up to much. I've been still writing books. Because, you see, I've only worked at the school for, like, five years. Because all I taught when I was in school was poetry. Poetry. That's all, that's all I taught when I first started. I taught poetry. Then I slowly moved into Japanese because my experience in Japanese kind of gave me a little edge, per se. So I taught Japanese for... Pretty much two years, and last year, the last year, I didn't really teach much of anything because a lot of things are just moving at 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 a certain pace, and I try keeping up, but things just turn out ugly, and the rest is history. But going back to what I said before, what the hell is this? Um, going back to what I said before, um, really, let kids be kids. Also, not to, not to forget, but you have to be a good role model to kids. Really. I mean, that, that's just as important as just letting kids be kids. Because... It's terrible how this generation makes the younger generation so, in, in a word, ugly. And that's the one thing I feel needs to change. Like, a few days back, two days back, really, I was having lunch at Jack in the Box. And I took my seat, and, you know, sat there and enjoyed my lunch. And I know these kids outside, they were smoking weed. Didn't, they, they, they didn't give a damn about their bodies. Just, you know, smoke weed like, like it was no thing. 
And I blame the parents for that. When I was walking back home, listening to my music. So, a tween throw up a, a double birdie. And I'm like, punks have no regard for, have no regard for living, no regard, no regard for respect. It was at a billboard, but still, you, when you do a double birdie, I mean, that's just saying something. That's just saying you don't give a damn about your own life, let alone respect for own life. I mean, I totally get what they're trying to do. It's like, oh, we're trying to prepare them. But, one last thing. When you're trying to prepare, remember, when it's elementary, don't even think like that. Just, just let things go as is. It's not going to hurt you if um, kids, just be kids, let them play, let them get, let them socialize. You don't have to be God just to make them say, oh, you need to stay more. That's what homework's for. Homework is to study for whatever they're going to have the next day. That's what homework is about. The, or that's what study hall's about. I mean, if they come home and they don't have no homework, and you ask them, well, do you have any homework? Say, no, I did at school. So you do a school? So yeah. Smart thing. You have homework and you have free time on your hands while you're still waiting for your ride. Do your homework while in study hall. Knock it out of the way. You got a free you got free free evening. Free evening. You can do whatever you want. You can play your you can play your video games. Whatever. Just do what you need to do while you're a kid. And let kids be kids. So, if you would like to have a say in this, I will, of course, have the, the site in, in question in the description box below. And, of course, you can read it for yourself, and, of course, you can leave comments on this video. Remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And of course, Google Plus, and of course, if you feel the need to subscribe, I am glad I have covered this topic about this issue. Because to me, yeah, even though I'm I'm not a teacher, the teacher still resides within me, and I believe that children just need to take their time growing up and I'm gonna leave it at that I have been the Tenkaichi of gaming I'll talk to Puki SE7 or Ichigo Musko and I will see you around with more videos till then take care God bless and of course Tenkai Muso thanks for watching